the most uh, relevant information that comes out this morning. Of course, because that press conference will continue and uh, we'll get the most recent information um, from uh, the police officer there. But as, as the Canadians do, they'll be switching in between French and English all morning. So um, we'll stay across that and maybe dip back into it as we come to an English-speaking part that's of relevance to you. But uh, moving on, and Australia's experience dealing with extreme heat and drought is being tapped by experts from the United States. A delegation from the US is in Melbourne to learn how that city responded to the record-breaking drought of the late 1990s. In the studio with us now is one member of the delegation, former Chief Environmental Advisor to Barack Obama, Nancy Sutley, and Melbourne Councillor Aaron Wood. Nancy Sutley and Aaron Wood, good morning and good welcome morning. to you both. Good morning. Nancy, can I start with you? What's the situation of drought in California at the moment? Well, we're experiencing one of our driest years on record, and we're in the third year of a drought. Uh, it's having real impacts across California, in our agriculture, uh, and, and in our cities. And we're here in Melbourne and in Australia to learn from the experience of dealing with a long-term drought that, uh, that you've dealt with here. And, and how do you manage? You going, think you're going to do that? Because we struggled on, I have to say, in Melbourne, didn't we, Aaron? We certainly it was, did. It wasn't done that well. No, no, it was, <laughs> it was difficult. And I think that's the, the amazing thing is the exchange that's going on here is, is, is fantastic. And we, we didn't deal with it very well. And, and I was talking to Nancy about this last night. And, um, you know, they're in the third or fourth year of their drought. Um, ours was 10 years of, of drought from 2000 to 2010. Mm. And, you know, it wasn't until sort of five or six years in that, um, you know, the old Dorothy McKellar poem wasn't really true, that, you know, the, the land of drought and flooding rains, absolutely. But um, what we were seeing was that this drought was, was continuing. And, and we really, you know, when you put your mind back to that, we got to the stage where we were literally running out of water. Some serious decisions were made. Obviously, the desal plant was one of those. But we were getting water that was being trucked into the towns up and down the, the Murray communities as well. So... Um, we were one of the first uh, cities in Australia to, to come up with a climate adaptation strategy and that's what the exchange has been all about with the LA delegation. There's a long history of um, uh, learnings between California and Australia. Alfred Deakin uh, learned about irrigation from California the uh, 130 years ago. Now, uh, is irrigation something that you're, you're mainly concerned with to help out the, the farmers? Well, we, uh, our delegation is mostly uh, urban uh, people from uh, San Francisco and from Los okay, Angeles. Yeah. Uh, and one of the things that we are here to learn is to see the experience, uh, not just of how you deal with a drought and a crisis, but how uh, you build resilience, how you uh, use the natural environment, the, the trees and uh, the landscape to help manage to water and manage... And how to get people saving more water? And how to get people right, saving okay. more water, absolutely. Yeah. Not a great deal of that is, is a mystery. Um, we know that if urban environments have more of a green canopy, then they're, you know, two to three degrees cooler than another city. People don't use their air conditioner so much, they don't draw down on power, and on it goes. We know that if we harvest water and reticulate it, then therefore, you know, we're not going to be drawing down so much on the water supplies. Why do you think it takes uh, cities and also states so long to put in place a formal plan that actually adapts to and uses all of those strategies? Well, we're uh, at Los Are Angeles. Are we slow learners? Uh, no, I think <laughs> Los Angeles, as, as Melbourne is, is a, we are built-out cities. Uh, our cities grew the way they grew, uh, not necessarily with the thought that we would be dealing with these kind of conditions. We, uh, in California, we thought we could conquer nature. We, we bring water to Los Angeles from hundreds of miles away. Uh, and we always thought there'd be somewhere else we could go, and yeah. we're, we're learning that there, that there isn't and that we have to try to find ways not just to uh, build the next great engineering project but also, as you said, to change people's behavior and to use our own natural environment to help us uh, deal with these dry periods. And also to, to mimic nature as well. I think that that's, you know, the urban forest strategy, which was, was one of our big responses, mm. um, is to plant, you know, 3,000 trees a year. And we, we're doing a good job of that. And you're exactly right. That's not just about making the city look good. It's about cooling the city. We know that the city of Melbourne is four to seven degrees hotter than the surrounding areas. Now, that's obviously an amenity impact. It's also a huge health impact. In the lead up to the Black Saturday bushfires, that heat wave, we lost more lives in the heat wave than we yeah. did during those horrific bushfires. We'll, we'll have to leave it there, I'm sorry, because Ottawa calls. But um, Nancy and Aaron, really good to talk to you. And have a good time in Australia. I hope you learn a great deal. All right, thank you very Thanks much for joining us. Thank, thank, you. thank you. And we'll take you back to Ottawa now, the police updating the public. Actually, the man loves Jedi, Dark Eight, and the Hell Scene.
selon certains, c'était quelqu'un de délégionné qui nourrissait probablement des croyances extrémistes. 